Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Above and Beyond Adventures. My name is Bill, and today what I want to do is try to prove, disprove, whatever, of the accuracy of the return to home. Okay, so... Okay, so I have the Mini 3 Pro with the RC controller. So let's get this test on the way. All right, I have a, I have a white dot. So we got the drone over the white dot. And it's time so I don't have to maneuver it all crazy like. We're just gonna go up and over real quick. Take off. Home point updated. Uh, let's just get a little safe distance up above these trees. That ought to go. Isn't that pretty out there? Gosh, I love that property. Now let's do return home. Return to home. And then we'll measure how far off it is. Or how dead on it is. Who knows? Where are you going, big boy? Wow, that was weird. It kind of sat there for a second. Maybe it was climbing. It was... Why is it up 359 feet? Did I send it up Landing. there? Uh, anyway. Just mumbling. Alright, so she's coming down. Let's see where she lands. Looks like it's a little better. But probably not. I want to make sure she ain't going to hit the trees. I'm down here with the trees. I wish it's too hot to be anywhere else. I like the shade. Wow. That's going to be pretty darn close. All right. Let's measure how far off. <sighs> Roughly 43 inches. Okay. So 43 inches off the center. Now, we will do as we was told. I will fly it up about 10 feet. And uh, we'll go again. Oh, it's already on. So this time, I fly it up 10 feet and uh, let it sit there for a few seconds, about 10 seconds, and then we'll fly it back kind of exactly where I flew it a minute ago, and we'll see how much more accurate it is. Alright. Let's get up above the trees, which we are way above the trees. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Okay. And return home. Return to home. Should climb to 300 feet. Nope. I have set that to something else. 359, I guess. Huh. Where did you go? Line of sight, huh? I'm blind as a damn bat. There you are. 
it's hard to see that little bit little bitty fly in the sky all right looks about <coughs> looks about right we'll see and then we'll throw the landing pad out there we'll do the same scenarios and we'll see if it doesn't get better I don't know if you noticed when I took it straight up it kind of went forward a little bit I don't know what the deal is with that if you guys know comment below holy mother yeah yeah I don't know if that worked out really well and maybe this is because I'm taking off on grass it all looks the same the image for landing I don't know I'm not DJI. Maybe a DJI guy can comment down below and tell me exactly, or tell us all exactly what is going on. But when I just took off, we was 43, and now we're 70 inches off of the landing pad. So, got me my landing pad here, and... What do you think? Blue or red? Let's go with blue. Every, no, let's go with red. Alright. I'm going to put this over the same spot. Uh, north, north is north is that way. Uh, I don't know if that really matters. As long as I don't move this thing. I'm going to put this right dead center. Alright. Okay, with the landing pad, I am going to just take up and take off. I'm not going to let it do its whatever it needs to do, calibrate its home position or whatever. At least that's what I'm going to try to do. It's pretty fast about doing that, by the way. So, let's, uh, just so I don't smoke a tree, let's turn him a little bit. Aim him away from the trees. Now that, let's go up to there, and let's take him back home. Bird, leave my drone alone, buddy. <laughs> I haven't had, well, I haven't had one actually attack my drone, but I had them swarming my drone. They were some old hawk birds. I don't know what. I don't know my birds, but uh, one was was zipping around it, and then there was four. Landing. All right. Let's see if it don't land on my building over there. Where you going, buddy? A little off. A little off, but you have to admit, I took right off, and it did a pretty damn good job. Thirty-three inches to the center, so better than without it, with a uncontrolled. Now, let's try to do this a little better. We'll take it up 10 feet-ish, let it do its thing, and then I'll fly that way and return home. All right. Get above the trees. All right. Return home. Return to home. And you all tell me if you think, I mean, I went 
I only went uh, about 200 feet away, which uh, I'm so somewhere somewhere between 170 and 200 feet. Well, I'll have this screen put on the on the video, but um, you let me know if I didn't go far enough or or whatever. But I think that was sufficient. And if any DJI guys, you know, watch this video, and if it doesn't come back, you know, at least on the pad. Let me know what I need to do, or if anyone else out there that's, you know, drone efficient, Landing. let me know. I gotta keep an eye on this drone so I don't land in the middle of this tree or my building. Or if you've seen something I was doing wrong, don't hesitate. Leave a comment, because... I've only owned this drone a little over a year, and uh, if any help, I mean, you can give me. Let me know. Boy, I tell you, it looks pretty good. It's going to land off the pad, but it looks like it's going to be about the same. All right. Well, you've seen it. I didn't manipulate it at all. I let it do its thing. And 40 inches. All right. Y'all, tell me what, if there's something I did wrong, or if there's maybe, if there's something I need to do with this drone, calibration wise, something, let me know. I'm curious. I mean, most of the time I take off, I have plenty of real estate to land. Most of the time, I don't do a return to home. I, I do, you know, I manually land it. So, anyway, that's the test for today. I hope you all enjoyed my test. I'm always curious about things like this. Um, so, and like I said, DJI guys, you watch this video, probably won't. But if you do, leave a comment. Get a hold of me. Let me know. If there's something I'm doing wrong or if there's something wrong with the drone. Like I said, this is a DJI Mini 3 Pro. And again, if you like my videos, you want to see more, please like and subscribe. I have another YouTube channel. I know you all seen the, the deuce in the background. Uh, my other channel is just a man and his deuce and a half. If you're interested in any of that content, um, which was my original um, YouTube account, go check it out, like and subscribe, all of that, um, but I'm going to keep, keep all the adventure stuff that isn't deuce related on this channel, and all the deuce related stuff on that channel, anyway, I'm out of here, off to another adventure, and doctor's appointment, yay. We'll see you in the next video, guys.